So the main changes in Archimate 3.2 are in, uh, in two places. One is in the notation of the language, it's made more consistent. And there are some changes in the internals of the language, the structure that you use for analyzing your models. And next to that, there are all sorts of smaller changes in definitions, in the structure of the document, in explanations, examples, etc. If you look at the future of Archimate, it's, it's becoming more and more important, you could say, because of the complexity of, of the whole digital ecosystem that organizations have to deal with. If you look at the language itself, it's quite mature, so we don't expect any major changes in the short term. Uh, but it's, it's, the Archimate Forum is really focusing on providing more guidance around the standard and using it in practice uh, for, for all the users out there. Looking at the future of Archimate, it's becoming more and more important, I would say. The complexity of the whole dig digital ecosystem for organizations is growing. Uh, to get a grip on that, to manage, maintain, design that future, these architectures, you need a language like Archimate that provides you with that consistency and quality of your architectures. Of course, Archimate is a visual language, so you can share the models with others just to look at. If they, they read the language, write the language, they can understand the model. But next to that, it also offers an exchange format so that tools using Archimate can exchange these architectures between them. So you can share models with people using other tools in other organizations in, in your whole digital ecosystem. The Archimate Forum is member-led, which means that the members of the open group, the members in the Archimate Forum, are the ones to decide on where the language is going. But it's not limited to that. If you look at the Archimate user community, they have provided input to version 3.2 of the standard. We've identified three areas we want to focus on first. And one is the, well, we call it the Archimate 101 guide. So a guide for people starting with Archimate, how do you deploy it in your organization? The second is, uh, let's call it the Archimate Executive Guide. That's for people managing that, say chief architects or, or IT managers or CIOs that want to start using Archimate in their organization. Why is it important? And the third is an Archimate Patterns Library, providing modeling patterns for people using Archimate in practice. So we want to set that up uh, and make that part of uh, also of the community website.